blah, blah. Oh, shit. Okay. B41. Weird. Doesn't appear to be... Oh, no. This must be it. Okay, give that a go. Right. Hi! Hi, everyone. Welcome, indeed. And, uh, yes, I hope you're all okay. I'm going to do my best this morning. I'm hurting quite a bit. For some reason, I just woke up with a stinking headache. Stinking headache? Yeah, just a really strong headache. And I've taken some painkillers and I've gone for uh, a W word with the dog. And I've had some coffee as well. But nevertheless, I'm still in quite a bit of pain. I also had uh, some breakfast a minute ago in the form of uh, some sausages. I had some sausages that I needed to cook before they went bad. And I kind of filled this, I, I filled the whole flat up with smoke. So now it's like, you know. Now my eyes are stinging, which isn't helping the headache at all, uh, considering it's a headache that's focused behind the eyes. So, hooray! Um, yeah, so I'm just going to have to do my best this morning, but apologies if I, uh, if I seem, a bit, seem a bit scatterbrained. So, um, yeah, hang on a second. Sorry, just trying to launch the game and get the version right. Oh, what's that belly welly? Right, one second, just launching the game. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so for the people just joining the stream, I hope you're, uh, yeah, I hope you're all okay. Oh, sorry, just getting some messages. What's this? Uh, thank you, Tea Leaf Salad. Thank you very much, Tea Leaf. Sorry, it won't load the messages right now. Um, anyway, sorry, uh, so as people are just uh, filing into the stream then, just a quick update on what's happening. Uh, so, at the minute, I'm primarily focusing... Oh, hang on. Just turn that down. Do, 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 do. Um, so, at the minute, I'm primarily focusing on uh, trying to do Team Fortress Bullshittery Part 1. It's editing day... Well, formally, it's editing day... What is it? 21? But technically, it's more like editing day 24. I've pulled a few uh, late nights and some work over the weekend. So, um, yeah, I, I'm really getting my teeth sunk into this project. So, it typically takes me about 25 days to finish a bullshittery. 20 to 25 days. So, it is quite far through now. I've got the whole thing cut, and I've got the whole thing keyframed. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit rough, though, as in it needs proper quality assurance. What I've been doing for the last few days, though, is I've been working on some source filmmaker animations. Basically, some cutaway gags. There are seven of them, and I finished, in finger quotes there, they're, they're, they're not fully finished, six of them. So there's just one last one left. It's the, it's the biggest, and the, it's the most mechanically complicated, but there's only one left, which is great. Uh, so it's been going very well indeed, and I've been making excellent progress on Team Fortress Bullshittery Part 1. So that's what I'll be continuing work on this afternoon. Um, so I'm just struggling. My eyes are really hurting to look at the screen, actually. Thank you, Maggot Cakes and Point Break. Thank you. Mm. So, um, yeah, tell you what. Sorry, can I just do one thing? I'm just going to... Cool. Um, so yes, uh, I just closed the window there because I think most of the smoke from the sausage cooking has gone out the window and now I'm freezing. So I'm just going to pop the heating on. I just pop the heating on as well. And I'm just going to pour a fresh drink of sugary liquid to try and help fight off the uh, headache here. Thank you, Scarthy, Chinesium, Papa 2 and Point Break and Maggot Cake. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, folks. Right. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Okay. So anyway, sorry. So too long didn't read for the people joining. My primary focus right now is on Team Fortress Bullshittery Part 1. And it's the start of editing day 21, technically 24, out of probably 35. So work is still ongoing. Right. 
Okay, let me just have a quick look and see if I can join. So that's the dog, that's the overlay, and that's... Do you have the game? Okay. Cool, there we go. Um, right, so if I just go here... So I need to join a specific server, don't I? Let me just put the music back there. Okay. Right. One second, let's try this one. Connecting to a server. So, um, I really don't know much about this, truth be told. I haven't seen any of the streams. Um, oh shit, okay. So, client version does not match the server version. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Uh, one second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Right, oh. Getting Steam messages, one second. Okay. So it looks like I've got to switch to a different, um, hang on. So, beta, there we go. Uh, I don't have it currently listed. Huh, let's try this one. Right. Sorry, it looks like I've got the wrong version to, to connect. I'm just gonna try again. Okay, updating. Anyway, how's everyone in the chat? You all okay? Oh, there we go. How's everyone's Monday? It's been a it, yeah, it's been a very difficult weekend. It's been a tricky weekend. Uh, lots of work on the editing over here. Um, isolating Mert. Yeah, also I've had some difficult and somewhat stressful conversations with um, the family, uh, as it seems that. Um, yeah, so the, the virus over here in Brighton, at least, is spiking quite horrendously. And, uh, yeah, the, the the suggestion is that next week for Christmas, we are to do the... So, basically, we're going to do two fairly large gatherings. So, in close quarters in a room, eating Chinese. And the more that I think about it, the more that I'm really nervous. And I'm expressing that nervousness to my mother, and um, she's not helping. Uh, unfortunately, my mother is, um, yeah, she values Christmas a huge amount, and so it's on with the, you know, it's difficult, because you're, you're trying to be sensible, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, it, d difficult conversations about the realities of the pandemic. Thank you, Platypus. Thank you very much, Platypus. Right, hang on. Uh, is this the right version? Hmm. No, wrong version. Strange. Okay, hang on. So the available... Hmm. Um. So hang on, it's a version that isn't actually on Steam? One second, let me just uh, send a message, sorry. Uh. Is that version on Steam? Sorry, just sending a message to uh, to someone. Right. Oh wait, am I just to pick the normal, non-legacy version? One second. Oh, pardon me. Uh Oh, interesting. Apparently it's disappeared. Oh, okay. Shall I just do single player then? Hmm. Messi says, oh bugger, they changed it. Uh... Sure. Okay. Well, Mag says he's uh, okay. Cool. Cool. Cool beans. It's a first impression. Anyway, I might well hate the game. And you, and your face. <laughs> Sorry, just talking to uh, to Mag, who 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 is our resident. I'm not going to call him Server Daddy. That's never happening. 
He's the guy who handles a lot of the ZF servers, which is very nice of him. Right. <laughs> Mag says, once you log in, I will find you and steal all your shit. Fair, fair. Ah, dear. Okay, all right. I'll just uh, switch it over to one second. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Right, so switch that off and then just load it up and see how it goes. Thank you, Mad John. Hi there, Mad John. Okay, so just going to drop in and do some first impressions. Uh, I will do my best, but forgive me, my head is killing me. Um, I suspect that after the stream, either way, I might just have to fall back into bed for a bit and rest. I did work the entire weekend. Okay, hang on a minute. Shit, I didn't mean to close that window. Right. Let's go. Hmm. So yes, anyway, sorry for the people just passing through the stream. Uh, please know that my primary focus right now is editing on Team Fortress Bullshittery Part 1. It is editing day 21 out of 35. So work is still ongoing. The start of week 5 of a probable 7 week effort. I'm hoping it can be less so. Less than that. Right. Okay. So, what is then? So, I know of this game's existence purely through uh, through some, well, background reading to do with open-world survival sandbox stuff, which I like so much. Uh, but this one previously I avoided because, well, it, it looked like it was exclusively single-player. So, um, that seems to have changed recently with the inclusion of a multiplayer, which puts it into the area that would interest me. But, um, yeah. Let's just drop in. Tutorial? Yeah, we might as well. Should we just run the tutorial? Actually, sorry, question. Is this the type of game that's ruined by tutorial? Thank you, Chaotic and Solon. Thank you very much. No, it's not. Tutorials needed? Okay. Right. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought it was a cutscene. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Uh, soon you'll die horribly. Oh, charming. No one will mourn you, and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything you have been for nothing. Sorry. Everything will, uh, will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go out fighting. What's with the raccoon? What's with this? Uh, okay. So first things first, you can zoom with your mouse wheels or the... Uh, okay. Sorry, forgive me. My my brain is stunted. What with the with the headache that's turning into a migraine. Uh, let's get a bird's eye view of the lonely place where you're about to die, miserable and alone. Quite ho quite hostile narration here. Okay. Now zoom back in again. You're great at this. Now have a look at your character information. Click the flashing heart on the left. Okay. Here you see you see your health status. Scratches, bites, bleeding, broken limbs, all listed for your convenience. It's also here that you can bandage and treat wounds. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, do you know another good panel? Yes, the skill panel. Click on the skills tab, please. Awesome. It really will uh, be such a shame to lose you. This panel shows your points in various different survival uh, in various different survival skills. Okay. In-game activities build up skill points that level you up in each discipline. Learning speeds can increase, uh, can be increased by reading books and watching certain TV shows. Ultimately, your brain will become co a cold, dead sludge, but in the meantime, why not uh, learn carpentry? Okay. Uh, time to take off those training wheels, lady. Close the character panel by clicking the cross, and we'll move on to the next exciting aspect of survival life. Cross? That one there. Okay. It's looking at stuff. Woo. 
hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse. Oh, I see. Quite Sims. Swift and unexpected death can come from behind, uh, whether from the undead host or your fellow man. Let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move around with the wazard. Uh, why not walk into the adjacent room? It's definitely safe. Okay. Getting sort of little big adventure vibes. Okay. Uh, okay, C told you it was safe. Now let's strafe. Hold the right mouse button and this will let you look around while walking. Uh, this will help you line up attacks and watch your back. Stray further into the room by holding the right mouse button and moving the wazard. Sorry? Is that strafe? Holding the right mouse button... Okay. I beg your pardon. Dead person alert. You're going to have to do some looting if you want to survive an attack. Head back to the marked counter in the kitchen and we'll learn to steal. Starvation uh, can be delayed by looting foods from the homes of the recently deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel and expand it. Okay. A dead mouse. Uh, to pick it up, let's double click. Delicious. Uh, we should probably pick up that empty bottle too. Dying of thirst is horrid. Double click the empty bottle. Uh, see those moodles? Moodles? To the right. Looks like someone's got a, a rumbly tummy. Time to eat. Sorry, question. What is with the raccoon? What is this? What's that about? Um, right click on the dead mouse in your inventory to see the interaction options and eat the dead mouse. Do we have to? He's the mascot. Okay. Strange choice. Sorry. Uh, right click, not left click. My bad. Eat. Okay. And then eat it. <laughs> Just casually. Mm. Okay. That's better, apart from the nausea. To learn about what each Moodle means, move your cursor over them. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hey. Better fill up that bottle before the water supply is cut off. Right-clicking items in the world will bring up the interaction options. Uh, move next to the sink and right-click to fill the bottle. Okay. I see. You automatically drink from water that's carried in your main inventory. Let's see what uh, what's in the other cupboards. Open that awesome loot panel again. I've already forgotten. No, there we go. Uh, well, it's uh, near enough a weapon. Right-click the frying pan and select Equip Primary so you can use it on all the dead folk that you meet. Okay. Oh my, is it getting hot in here? Let's pop open a window and get some fresh air while your lungs are still inflated. Really? We'll just let the dead in. Ooh. Nice hat. Press E to open the window. Let's go. Climb out the window and beat that corpse back to death. Hold E to climb through the window. She hasn't seen us. Holding the right mouse button will ready your weapon for an attack. An isometric cursor is shown to help you gauge the angle of approach. Hold the right mouse button. Okay. Thank you, Gunch and Daedalus. And Rihodi Janeiro. Thank you. Wait. Rihodi? Yeah, thank you. And Banana and Sky Reaper. Thank you. Sorry, speaking to the people just joining, I'm a bit scatterbrained this morning due to a very painful headache, so please bear with me. Thank you, Alvany. Thank you. Uh, sorry, what was it? Hold the right mouse button and move the wazard to strafe up close to the fetid hat woman. Okay. Uh, click the left mouse button to attack when ready. Hold the right mouse button to ready the frying pan. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I win. You suck. Take that, mum. Wait. She's still up. Uh, you could also press space to shove her, but right now we'll go for the head. Okay. 
Uh, the isometric cursor shows your mouse position in relation to the floor. Line yourself up using the right mouse button and use the circle at the bottom of the isometric cursor to target the head. Ah. Okay. Cool. The frying pan broke. Your mother's skull was really thick. That was my mother? Jesus. Um, let's borrow the hunting knife we planted in her back earlier. Oh, really? There we go. Loot and equip the hunting knife from, from mother's body. Right-click the hunting knife in the loot panel. You hear that? There's more. Move up to the gate in the tall fence. Press E to open the gate. Oh, yeah. Oh, grim. Uh, vegetative shambler in the uh, vegetable garden, but he's got enough brain function to see you. If you sneak, you'll make less noise. You'll be less visible. Okay. So press C. Wow, it's like you're invisible. I mean, we've maxed out your skills here, but that is impressive. If you sneak close to the wall, fence or vehicle, you'll crouch lower and reduce your visibility even more. Sneak around the corner to the low gate in the fence. Just enjoying his meal there. So silent and so deadly like a doomed ninja. Stay crouched and open the gate with the E key or click it with the left mouse button and then close. Sorry, when close. When close. Uh, this is some special forces stuff right here. Ugh. Stay close behind him with the knife. Your arm will be raised to show you're in place for a stealth attack. Strafe by holding the right mouse button. Yeah, yeah. It will. Oh, there we go. Is that it? There we go. Cool. Right. So loot all. Briefs, clothing, gold ring. Grab that. Grab the bag. Okay. Um, you did it. No more daddy issues. Now take his bag and put it on. Make sure you're standing over the corpse and right-click on the large backpack in the loot panel to show the interaction options. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, you wanted this large backpack for years and now it's yours. Let's see what's inside. Right. Find the flashing large backpack icon to the side of the inventory panel and click it. To the side of the inventory panel. Oh, here. Gotcha. Nothing. Nothing's in it. Click on it. Right side. Ah, thank you. A loaded shotgun and some bandages. Okay. Uh, we always do the best for you. Equip it in both hands. Right click the shotgun to show interaction options. The window in Dad's shed just broke right on time. Vault the fence and let's check it out. Running at the fence will make you jump over it automatically. So use the left shift and the wazard towards the fence. Oh, that's cool. Dad was a prepper, but he didn't prep for you, did he? Let's take his gear. Ignore the glass shards. Climb through the broken window by standing next to it and pressing E. Holding E. Okay. Oh no, your hands are bleeding. The broken glass in the window shredded them. Who saw that coming? Open the health panel by pressing H or the heart icon. Okay. Thank you, Trayson, Commander Dolphin, and Billy. Thank you very much. And Burke and Jadis and Anathanid. Thank you. Okay. Apply a bandage. Right click on the red text where it's reported the hurty left hand and apply the bandage. There we go. Bandage. Let's check outside in case there's more mouldering flesh autom automatons. Curtains stop you seeing out, but they also stop the horde seeing in. Open the curtain. It's probably safe. Right mouse button to interact. Hold left shift. Okay. Two of them. Three if you count your sister on the floor there. Uh, better get some improved projectiles from their nails and teeth. Beg your pardon. Thicker clothing and headwear. 
Oh, sorry, from their nails and teeth. Sorry, as in, they're going to bite me, not like the forest where you put it on your shotgun to improve its damage. Okay, so thicker clothing, clothing and headwear helps protect from attacks. Okay. Right, oh, I see. So, in cupboard on floor. Yeah, denim shirt, lumberjack. So how can I tell what counts as a... Oh, I see. It's got stats on it. Insulation, wind resistance. Hmm, okay. Uh, leather jacket. There we go. Uh, put on some military boots. Thank you, Toby and Black Templar. Thank you. Uh, what do I want? Lumberjack shirt. Put on some proper trousers. Right. <laughs> Once I'm ready, go through the door. So where's my personal inventory? Sorry. Uh, closed curtains. Strong pa panic. I see. That's what the heartbeat. The heartbeat is. Okay. Uh, so shotgun. What's that there? Sorry. Large backpack. There we go. Okay. What's that then? Is that all? Yeah. And that's what's on the floor around me. Got it. Okay. Uh, e, right? There we go. Remember, you can sneak to make less noise. Press C to crouch and move up to the wired fence. Uh, if you have high enough skill and aren't exhausted, then tall fences can be climbed. Press E to climb over the wire fence. Okay. Oh, hello. Ready the shotgun. The green outline uh, shows a good chance of connecting with the target. Woo! Nice. Pretty sure that noise would have attracted them, though, surely, if it works like DayZ. Never mind. Uh, they're all dead. So sad. Never mind. Soon you'll be all back together. Every zombie in the forest heard that shotgun and they're coming for you. Press E to climb back over the wire fence and escape. Do I not want to see what my sister has? Uh, loot all. Corpse. Take the necklace. Silver ring. Which corpse is which? Earrings. Proceed. They're getting close. You know how to run, uh, but here's how to sprint. Sprint to the marker by the outhouse now. Left alt was sprint. Okay. Gotcha. Last advice. If you ever get a zombie bite or fear one is imminent, then press Q and you'll swallow the antidote. Press Q to swallow the antidote. Only kidding. Hope is all gone. There is no antidote. Have fun. Oh. Oh, dearie me. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Uh, da, 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 da. Fuck you. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> That's really grim. Okay. Not bad. Right, so. Not a bad tutorial. Although, yeah, maybe I think they need to get rid of the raccoon there. That's a bit weird. Yeah, if they just went, like, dead serious on it, then I think that could be, you know, maybe with some voice acting, that would be really, really impressive, wouldn't it? Like, imagine instead of that raccoon telling you sarcastic jokes, have the daughter speaking. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, the jokes are horribly out of place, I think, for uh, for a game of like this, at least. But we'll see. Um, okay. So, uh, I guess I can't wait. Let me just have a quick look and see. One second.
Thank you, Matter Gaming. Thank you very much, Matter Gaming. Oh, um, Mag says he's fixed the server. Hang on. Um, okay, let's try this then. One second. Uh, okay. So just switching over. Cool. Mag says it works for him. Let me give it a welly. Hang on. Shit. Ah, dear. Um, so, uh, 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 there we go. Try this one. Uh, yep, cool. Try this one. And then update. Cool. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, for the people just cruising through the stream, please know that I'm working on Team Fortress Bullshittery Part 1 right now. It's the start of week f week five of a probable seven-week effort. Uh, sorry for the huge yeah time estimate there. Uh, so this project is pretty monstrous. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Matter Gaming, and all for the game. Thank you. So I'm just going to pour myself another sugary beverage to try and work through the headache. Whoops. Uh, probably not Blob. So, uh, yeah, the, the the project that I started, Team Fortress, uh, had no master project file. So my process works by making a master project file uh, with all of the clips from the live streams, and there was none, which means I had to spend a few weeks just building it. Things like Hold Fast or Rising Storm or Space Engineers have already had their project files built, but, uh, yeah, Team Fortress is fresh. It's part one. So, yeah, there was that... There was that effort at the beginning which was quite meaty uh, yeah and then of course the project itself is quite complicated or rather I've made it complicated right one second I need to enable the green outline in the settings when shooting zombies sure uh, what is that then uh, I'll figure that out later. Hang on. Just need to connect to a server. Let's try this one. Thank you, pure battery. Thank you. Hmm. Here we go. What's this then? Um, so. I've got some sort of... One minute, just making sure there isn't an IP shown. Yeah, we're fine. Occupation. Okay. I see. So you can pick your starting stats. Can you see that? Burger flipper. <laughs> Alright. Axe man. Veteran doctor fisherman. Hey! <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. So, available traits. Uh, what's this then? Add traits. Oh, I see. Positive and negative traits. Ah. Major skills, fishing, fitness, foraging, and strength. Don't know about that last one. Right. Angler. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Kawang. Thank you very much, Kawang. Oh, yeah, look at my points to spend. Minus six. Okay. Does that mean I, I can't afford this? So what shall I give back then? Uh, so I need to balance out positive and... Oh, I see. Gotcha. So I need to add some negative traits. Gotcha. Okay. Slow reader. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, surname, female to male. Go. Right. Uh, there we go. Chest hair. Yeah, of course. Hair type. There we go. Uh, mullet, pony 
ponytail receding. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, hang on. Short. Yeah, there we go. And then it's somewhere down there. What it used to be. These days it's more like up here. No, not even that, unfortunately. It's all the way up there. It's frustrating. Beard type, no beard. There we go. This is all, this is pretty much me in real life, folks. Incredibly boring looking. Right. Clothing. Uh, nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting there. Right. Oh, shit. It reset? There we go. Right. Oops, so I'm just going to do this just in case. I don't know if it's going to flash the IP on the screen and then the chat. Yeah, my clan mates are going to yell at me. Hang on. There we go. Click to start. Here we go. Okay, what's this then? Uh, one second. Cool. And I think we're okay. Cool, all right then. So, let's have a look then. So, yeah. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure the, the rowdy neighbours outside are just, you know, being rowdy. Um, right, so... The fact that it's night time outside, does that do anything... Hang on. Does that, like, make things worse insofar as the zombies? Do they get more active? I guess I need to find a weapon. Hang on. No, no, I did the tutorial. A spoon. Wait, can opener? How does that help? Roasting pan... Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure it'll work exactly like exactly like Daisy. Your first life will be, will be measured in minutes. Right. Ooh, pardon me. Sleep, walk to, sit on the ground. Everything is Daisy. Well, no, just open world survival games with zombies in them. I can't see shit. Oh, hello. What's she doing? She's having a look. Um, close the curtains. Excuse me, miss. Uh, can you fuck off? No, no, don't come. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong thing. That was the wrong thing. That was the wrong thing. I didn't mean to do that. Um, hold on. Uh. Right, I have no weapon. No, 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 thank you, no, thank you, actually. I, I don't want to. Piss off, piss off. Ouch, bitch. Owie, owie, owie. Okay, hang on. Can I punch? I can push. Oh god, there's another one. What's the button? E. Right, there we go. She bit me. Okay, there's lots of them. Let's go in here. Ouch. What the f- Ow. No? Okay, it's locked. What about if I open this? No? There we go. And then hold down E. There we go. No, don't do that. Dingus. Uh, I think I'm in trouble. There we go. Left mouse button. No, don't do that. Okay, go away. Need to fix this bleed. I'm in trouble. So press this. Uh, so presumably I don't. Hang on. Peach, uh, grab all. So presumably I don't even have. Um, hang on. Dish towel. Can I use that to? Uh, grab that. Is he in? Oh, crap. Remove the curtains. Hang on. Go through that. Uh, what's this? Minor pain, minor bleeding. Thank you, Nye Occultster. Thank you very much, Nye. Okay, there's lots of them over there. <laughs> um... Not grabbing the meat cleaver? There was a meat cleaver? Up, 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 up. Up. Right, so, yep. Yeah. No, 
Nope, what's that? Nope, that's not it. There we go. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Look how fine everything is, see? Right. Uh, what's this then? A spoon? I need to find a way of stopping the... Um, uh, ooh. Grab. Do I find a way of stopping that bleed? Uh, wash myself. Hang on. So I've got no cloth. Carpentry book. What's this? Antique television. Oh, Jesus Christ, the way we jump. There we go. I see. Gotcha. Okay. So what's this? Grab. Grab. So can I rip that, I wonder? No, don't do that. Dingus. No. It's alright, she can't get in, right? Uh, not sure how that's helping. Right. So, sweater. Ah, here we go. Rip. There we go. Right. And then I should be able to... There we go. Gotcha. Right. That's what there. Yeah, one thing sorted then. Okay. Gotcha. Nope. Yes. Right. Thank you, Sneaky Squiddy. Thank you very much, Sneaky. So what's this then? Belt left, belt right. Back, belt... Oh, I see. So things that are equipped on me? Well, I don't have anything right now. So, um... Very minor damage. Upper... Uh, right upper arm bandage. Okay. Presumably I don't have any sort of weapon. So is there anything that I can... So just spoons. I oh, see, so cupboards, fridges. Oh, wow, cool. So grab this. Soda. Frozen ham. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, is this eatable? Edible? Fresh uncooked. Turn on settings. I'm just picking up spo scoopfuls of uh, of pasta there. Okay. Oh, hello. Is she coming to look inside the window, I wonder? Probably. So if I close this door... Ah. Can I wash... Yeah, drink. Hmm. Okay. Right. Am I locked in the bathroom again? Uh, I don't think locked. Hmm. The belt is for fast selection of weapons. Sure, yeah, go figure. So what's this, sorry? Fairly heavy load. I'm carrying too much. Whoops. Okay. I see. I switched the inventory off and on there. What am I carrying that's too heavy then? Presumably it's the... Uh, our school bag, key ring. Oh, I got a baseball bat in my bag this whole time. That might have been nice to know a little earlier. There we go. E, e. All right. Still carrying a bit too much. Okay. So can I transfer? So this is yeah. Put a few things in my backpack then. So. An uncooked ham. Okay, dish dishcloth there. Pasta uncooked. What's this? Ripped sheets. Okay. So the orange icon presumably means that it's equipped on me. Okay. 
Uh, make bandages from the towels. Good shout. I did grab that towel, didn't I? Um, thread. So what am I doing? Am I just waiting for daytime? Where'd that towel go? Dishcloth. There we go. Uh, dry self. Dishcloth. Can't seem to rip it up. Never mind, just drop it there. Okay. So, oh, I could always go to sleep? Okay. Is that wise? Because I can't seem to... Aren't the zombies just going to be like, hi? Open window, sleep. Smash window. Okay. Ooh, carpentry for intermediates. Okay. A newspaper, sheet of paper. So what do I do? Just sit on the ground and sleep? Also, how do I see what time it is? Uh, get a watch. Oh, I see. Just gonna look outside. So, is there a curtain there? No. Hello. So, yeah. Sorry. Is it is it like wise to just go to ground at night, or do do you just keep losing at night? Sit on ground. What does that do? Enable search mode. Not sure what that does. Oh wow. Points of interest maybe? Hmm. Looting at night is deadly for new players. Okay. Probably not wise then. something outside go to sleep on the bed but what if they like look through the co oh I see I can cover these yeah I can get sheets to cover these up can I hang on uh, sheets 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 where'd it go I suppose I've ripped them up, haven't I? Okay. Oh, there's no sleep in multiplayer? Is there not? What's this then? Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, I did drop it. G gotcha, gotcha. Okay, grab. This clap. Yep. Uh, nope, don't do that. Ripped sheets. Equip primary. Smash windows, sit on ground. Yeah, I need sheets. Okay, so it's the wrong thing. <laughs> right, never mind. Um, so how long does the day-night cycle last? Does anyone know? One hour? Oh Christ, so I could be here for a while. Um, I, I guess I'd just better keep moving then. Brave it. Oh, hello, I'm hungry. Let's eat something first. Okay. Right, I'm going to eat some peaches. Not sure why the music's doing that right now. I'm getting bored. Occupy myself. Okay, or seek entertainment. Oh, cool. Put all the food in the backpack. Okay. Uh, so pasta uncooked, 
put that there. Does that drop? Oh, it cool, it does drop. Yeah, so the backpack is like a separate storage thing. Neat. Orange soda. Something, something, Keenan and Kel. Right. Watch TV? You can do that? Okay. Uh, volume. Turn it down. How does one watch it? Uh, channel. The news. Tune in. Okay, disassemble device options. You can't watch TV all the time, but there are set hours. I see, so is, is that why it's going right now? Okay. So there's nothing on. Okay. So I guess I, okay. I'm just gonna just gonna go and just brave it then, rather than sit here for the whole stream. Oh wait, is it daytime? Okay. Whoa, that's quite a few of them. There are dead ones here as well. Does that indicate other players nearby? Maybe. Search corpses for a watch. Sure, sure. Uh, there we go. Ugh. Grim. Uh oh, have they sent me? Cool. Hang on. What am I doing? There's quite a few of them. Okay, hold on. Have they seen me? Because they're coming straight towards me. Let's get in here. Shit. Shit the bed. Uh, shit, no. If I get that, I'll cut my hands, won't I? Oh, hello. Piss. Damn it. Um, okay, hang on. Let's go this way. Ooh, hello. Whoa, bloody hell. My character's panicking. Oops, sorry, bear with me just a minute. Damn it! I've got, I'm have i gonna die, I've gotta to run to the door. Shit, 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 shit. Hang on. Really loud. How do I mute it? 
Hang on. There we go. Sorry. Right. Oh. Just that. <laughs> Still doing the noise. Sorry about that, folks. I just had to run down to the door uh, to get a delivery. Um, <laughs> it, it kind of split open. Hang on a minute. <laughs> fuck. Jesus, fuck. Um. <laughs> right. So, um. So, for. <sighs> Right, this is his idea of a joke. Hang on a second. So I, I wasn't going to open this until Christmas, but it just uh, it's the the thing was split on the way up the stairs, so I can already see what's in it. Have a look at this. So this is Dinklebean's idea of a joke. Hang on. So uh, when he asked me what I'd like for Christmas, um, and I said I so su I just suggested like some fishing bits. I'm yeah, you know, I'm fairly easy to buy Christmas stuff for. Um, you know, I said, uh, just buy me some like fishing bait or some or some hooks or something. Um, anything that would uh, would help me catch fish. Um, he seems to have done one better. <sighs> A giant carp pillow. So he's basic. Jesus Christ! Look at the size of this. <laughs> Hang on. Do do, do do, honey. Do do, come here. Stay, stay, stay. Stay. <laughs> 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 no, she's not a fan. Fish, giant fish. Uh, don't you bite this. This is mine. Oh, dear me. Oh, well, thank you, Dinkle. Thank you very much, Dinkle. He's yeah. So a giant carp pillow is what I've got there. No, 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 no. That's not for you, honey. That's not. That's not a toy. Hang on. Where do I put this? It's huge. Bloody hell. Hang on. Just pop it up here. It's ridiculous. No. Fuck. Yeah, where, <laughs> she wants. She wants to chew it. No chewing. No, no chewing the giant fish. No, no chewing. <laughs> no. Hey, 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 calm down. I know. I'm winding you up. I know. Hang on. I'm gonna pop it down here. Here you go. Ah, dear me. Anyway, um, right. So yes, yeah, sorry about that, folks. I just had to run down to the door and died uh, in uh, Zomboid. Right. Let's try that again then. So, yeah, really loud there. I came back and I couldn't seem to switch off any of the zombie sounds. Right. So just reconnecting to the server. All right. Ah. Multiplayer is a bad thing during daytime in Project Zomboid since one little mistake and it's all over. Well, isn't that the whole... Forgive me, Rosh, isn't that the whole idea? That's the whole attraction of the open-world survival thing. One fuck up and it's all over, and all that progress is gone. That's kind of the whole thing. Right, um, so... Let's go with... Uh, just go with... Yeah, go with this again. Right. Clumsy, slow reader, weak stomach, claustrophobic, conspicuous, disorganized. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, seems sensible. Asthmatic, which is what I am. Okay. Right. Cat size. Better to see it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll just leave all this default for now. I'm not expecting to survive very long anyway. Okay. Again, well, sorry, uh, Shizuna. Not just Daisy Mod. This this isn't a case of old man describes nostalgia from yesteryear. I'm just describing. So what the fuck? Whoa! Jesus Christ! Oh God! Well I, <laughs> well, I said I wasn't going to survive long. <laughs> mm. 
Ok. Hang on. There we go. Well, that was weird. That was a bit weird. Um, sorry, what was I saying? Um, yes, sorry, I'm, I'm not, like, trying to be, like, nostalgia and that's how it was. I, it, that's how it is. That's one of the major elements of survival, uh, survival sandbox games. Is the fact that, yeah, it can all go horribly wrong in just a few moments of, well, bad luck or a bad encounter. Yeah. The bleeding edge nature of it standing in contrast to lots of stupid handholdiness from many other game developers is the very thing that makes Survival Sandbox so interesting. Because you never know quite what's going to happen. Okay. So do I do I have a weapon in my backpack? I do. Cool. I guess this is maybe the default one that you start with. No? There we go. Unpacking. There we go. Let's keep away from them. Let's go in here. Nope. Can I open this, maybe? No. I guess I'd need to smash it, then. Okay, I can climb through there. Or, you know, just close it. Indeed, Muffin. That, too. Same with um, with things like uh, with Dark Souls, you know, with the, the challenge that it provides. Uh, many elements of the gaming industry have become too, too coddled, you know, too simplified. So it's nice to just be dropped into a world that doesn't give a shit. Where it's not unfair, but it's 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 not punishing, but it's uh it's expecting you to jump up and meet the uh, meet the requirements rather than have the requirements dr dip down to baby levels. Yeah, survival games treat you like an adult. Not like a, you know, here's a toy. Okay. Thank you, Wiggy. Wait, we, uh, uh, yes, sorry, Wiggy won. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sounds like Tarkov. Again, Tarkov is, it's, it's, it sounds weird to describe because it's, it's, it's a complicated topic. But yeah, Tarkov is open world survival just cut down it's got the corners cut down basically and the focus on pvp but yeah the pedigree started in open world survival all the trappings are still there it lo looks very different these days but yeah from 2012 the daisy mod kick-started the whole fucking show Also, if you'll forgive me, I'm desperate for a wee-wee. I've been drinking lots of Pepsi. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Right. One second. Back in just a moment. One second. Okay. So anyway, sorry for the people just joining the uh, joining the stream. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is just a first impressions thing. 
So I'm on the ZF server that we've got. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so hang on. So trousers. Wait, no, don't, don't do that. So how can I compare against what I'm wearing? Let's have a look. Uh, trousers, condition. I see, insulation, wind resistance. I'm wearing... How can I tell on a glance? There we go, baggy jeans. Okay, so these are way better. Okay, so can I tear this? I can, rip clothing. Cool, and then does that place it back in? Sandals. I see, it highlights. Good, so when you switch between the individual containers, it's highlighted. Okay. Oh, hi there, Dinklebean. Dinklebean's in the chat. Thank you for the giant fish, sir. I would uh, open it at Christmas, but uh, it was uh, the packet was half open when it arrived. The guy apologised, and the courier said the, 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 the thing's ripped. So, yeah, thank you. Hang on, I'll just pop it on the... Uh... Just need to watch her to make sure that she doesn't start chewing that. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dinkle. Right. Thank you, Gaming Cabbage. Thank you very much, Gaming. Oh, in other news, sorry. Um, today, hopefully, if it arrives, I should have that camera. The camera for the ant farm. I've picked one with pretty, well, pretty good magnification. So, so it's a dedicated... Huh? Oh, is that the television? Is there something on the television? Hang on. It's gone. Red pen journal. I can hear something out there. So I need to be a little careful because I know. So enter search mode. Oh, I see. Um, yes, I'm. I'm so. I'm currently using Wazard to move. Is can I click? No, I can't click on the ground. So I did definitely check the fridge, didn't I? Uh, 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 uh. I see what they're doing with the items lighting up and disappearing. Says Ken, when you can see them, but the overall effect is distracting. Yeah, I think I'll just get used to it though. Okay, so maybe I should be turning off the lights. Thank you, Aldo West. Thank you very much, Aldo. Okay, I guess I should probably just move on to the next house. Whoops. Oh, okay, that, that one's coming towards me. So at least I know ways of getting... Watch out for him. Check out this house over here then. E. Hold down E. Oh, look. This is where I was before. Oh, I see. Yeah, I died over there, didn't I? So is my body still there? Hmm. Cool. Yes, so one of the one of the uh, I suppose the the traits one of the the principal um, I'm not sure how to even describe it oh, tropes. So one of the elements of this open world survival thing is that yeah, over time the players themselves become uh, treasure boxes worth either killing to take the the stuff of or worth finding if they die. So yeah, the longer you stay alive, the more tempting you are to try and... Whoa! The more of a tempting target you are. And that's that's pretty much a hallmark of... Hang on. 
Grab corpse. Yeah, that's pretty much a hallmark of the survival, open world survival thing anyway. All the way through to, through to PvP. As in, you know, Battle Royale stuff. Oh, bloody hell. What the hell happened here? Another player? Whoop, hello. I see. Q. There we go. Here's someone coming. Ooh, food. Hang on. Uh, so toothbrush, eyes, makeup, junk. I saw food. Where is the food? Oh, I see. It's in the kitchen over here. Uh, orange soda and pop. Okay. Open the top right tab when near a corpse to see what's in it. Oh, I see. Good shout. As in, just leave this open. Not a bad idea. Thank you. Take some lettuce. Hmm. Wait, hang on. Chips, crisps. All these Americanizations are weird. this comic book keep that for entertainment I guess metal work hmm. oh Jesus Christ okay that made me jump uh, should I just kill them I mean I've got the bat if I can do it quietly oh yeah yeah they got the back to me but I, I guess I can't get a stealth kill with a with a baseball bat can I or can I Guess not. Oh. Uh, this thing is not very effective. Woo! Okay, now hit them in the head. Okay. And hopefully that didn't make too much noise. I hope. Cool. What's that there on the floor? Oh yeah, so check the bat. So, oh no, conditions dropped all the way down there. Okay, so this is not, yeah. This is not a go-to weapon. I need something better. Sneakers, clothing. Okay. Sheet of paper, shoes. Ooh, lots of different things here. Uh, bite defense on this one. Can I equip it? Okay. Denim jeans. Hang on. Where? Insulation. Oh, it, it cool. It even shows what has less. Less insulation. Neat. Cool. What's in here? Uh, electrical wire. Not sure why I need that, but okay. Taking it. Uh, thank you, Ar Archon. Thank you very much, Archon. Uh, Archon Corn. Ar Archon Corn. Thank you very much. Okay, what's this then? So sewing kit, I presumably... Uh, yeah, vitamins, bandages. Oh, cool. whole bunch of different first aid stuff. Nice. Painkillers. Antidepressants. Nice. 
I can upgrade the bat with nails and hammers. Oh, I see. It's the ha Whoa, hello. Excuse me. How did you get in here? You are not allowed in here. Cool. That works. Uh, so hang on. What, what do I do if I do get trapped up here? Can I... Well, this is the second floor. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. What's she doing? Huh. Oh, uh, check the zombies for loot. Good shout. I see. So, uh, scissors, silver ring. So, sorry, um, a, a bunch of follow-up, a follow-up question then. So, um, some of the, the, the tropes, or I keep saying tropes, it's not the right word. The feature sets of Survival Sandbox. How many of them made it into Project Zomboid without going into too much detail? So, um, does the game have trade sites that will function as a sink for you to get rid of items before you reach the point of saturation and therefore no longer need to loot and play the game? Are there trade sites? No, no trade sites? Drat. That's a problem. It means that when you reach a certain point, you no longer need to play the game because you've got everything you need. Um, okay, what about missions, which might uh, make it so that other players will encounter one another in an increased rate because they're going to one specific area and also provide a team activity for multiple people to focus on? No missions? Okay. Okay. Uh, so what about uh, land mobility, so the ability to loot something that will increase your speed but subsequently make you more obvious and louder? It's a trade-off. Cars? Okay, check. So they've got that. Good. What about air mobility? Same deal, but air mobility. Nope, not yet. Okay, sure, not yet. Um, what was the other thing on the checklist? So, looting for personal survival, check. Land mobility, air mobility, trade sites, base building? So, I'm turning it so that you can um, stockpile things for a future life. Cool, lots of base building. Okay, sweet. Uh, what about treasure sites? So areas, again, same function as the missions uh, that will force players to come into contact with each other to retrieve specific treasures in either airdrop form or certain areas that just have better stuff. Yes, kind of, but no airdrops. Okay. Great, gray area then. Okay. And what about um, opportunities for PvP, both offensive and defensive? So it, uh, basically change, uh, uh, mixing things up so it's not just PvE all the time, and occasionally it's red alert, there's another survivor. Very much yes. Okay. Cool. By the sounds of it then, it sounds very, very classic open world survival doesn't it insofar as it's pedigree oh oh god you hear that shooty shooty bang bang I wonder if I can see any zombies moving to that area So do I go in that general direction, do you reckon? Hang on. Lots of them.
<laughs> Empty. Oh, wow. Should I do that? Should I be yelling? Oh, hello. Oh, is someone here? Is that like a zombie trying to bash in or? So moist, peckish. Oh, I see. It's just a Z at the back. What's that? Sorry. Unpleasantly hot. Consider taking off clothing. Hmm. Okay. So uh, I guess somebody did loot that area at some point in the not too long ago. Okay. Where's the music? Um, I did switch it back on. It doesn't appear to be playing. And then I'm on a server, Kellepot, the uh, ZF server. So I, I don't know how many people are on it. In fact, good question. Does any, any, can anyone see? Mag, are you here? Is there like just me and one other or is there lots? Hang on, denim shirt wet. Wait, I'm wearing both of these for some reason? Uh, so Messi's on. Okay, it must be Messi then. Uh, I'm a bit peckish. No, I could eat a horse right now. And I'm moist. Slightly damp, rain or sweat. Oh, what's happened there then? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, it's all good, Hellfire. It's all good. I, I tend to just play with my, my clan mates and friends. Thank you, Grobosaurus. Thank you very much, Grobosaurus. Okay. Oh, hello. Watch out. Oh, hello. There's lots in there. So if I look through the window, can they see me? Is she coming at me or is she wandering this direction? I guess she is. Okay, so she could see me. Okay, so he, presumably he can also see me. Not entirely sure where I'm going. Unpleasantly hot. Get in here. So perhaps it's a better idea to occupy the upper levels of a building so you don't get seen through the windows much. But then again, if you get caught up there, you could indeed get caught up there. Hang on. Right. Slightly damp. What's that there? Knitting needle. You can close the curtains. Yeah, but not many windows appear to have the curtains. Mm, didn't mean to do that. Uh, V-neck sweater. No. Okay. Mm, didn't mean to do that. Ooh, what's this? Did these spawn here, or did someone... Hmm. Uh, suit, pants, pillow... Okay. Three planks. You can burn the house down. Can you really? 
<laughs> is, that, is that real? You can fuck up and burn the house down. Okay. What's this, sorry? Nothing of note. Okay. Do I need anything to drink? One second. Info, here we go. So, training materials. What's this? Ah! Fishing for beginners. Okay, recipes, CDs, VHS. Things you can find? Hmm. Okay. Uh, a bit peckish. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. Cool. Hang on. A breakdown of how much protection I have. Right. Yeah, I need more armor all over, really. Okay. Uh, the map is not procedural, says uh, Franzu. Cool. How big is it? You're free to sort of w wave your hands nebulously in the air, in the air, and go this big. That's fine. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm definitely nearish someone because I heard the machine gun fire. Big enough to really need a need a car. Okay. Check the bodies every time I go past one, just in case one has a watch. Oh, what's that? Oh, I see. There's someone in here? Or in here? Let's see. So presumably he's going to bash that through and then escape. Oh, hello. Woo! Pardon me. So panic, accuracy reduced. I see, okay. Uh, thank you, Z5. Thank you very much, Z5. Okay, that's locked. So is that. Thank you, Grim Crow. Thank you, Grim. Okay. So I still need to look for a better weapon. This thing is not going to last, is it? So if I'm in a survival situation, maybe like crowbars from the garage? Uh, don't tell me, I'm just spitballing. Baseball bat seems a bit rubbish. I need like a fun yeah, look for like tool sheds or something. Oh, is this the edge of the map? Hey, I think I found the edge of the map. Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, there were there were there were police cars. Maybe there's a pistol or something. Barbecue. I definitely haven't found the edge. I haven't? What's this then? Oh, press M to look at the map. Oh, I have a map. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so what's this then? It's uh, just a maybe a tall fence that I can't see because of the isometric view. Okay. Oh, hello. There's quite a lot of Zeds. Um, hang on. Pardon me. Excuse me. S'il vous plaît. Uh, close curtains. Right. Uh, fresh milk. Fresh banana. Fresh eggplant. Fresh pineapple. Let's quickly have a... Have a nom nom nom. No, don't drop it. Damn it. I eat it 
quickly. One second. Eat some fresh bologna. Yummy. So do you need to do you need to poo? Not like asking the audience, I mean like does my character need to poo? Ooh. <laughs> the, chat, the chat says I do. No. Well, all of you go poo then. Go away, go poo. What's this then? Hang on. Sheet of paper, magazine. Guess I'll grab those for the entertainment. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a radio. Okay. Uh, big crates here. Does that does that imply like prepping? There's a there's an American flag on the thing. Uh, what's this then? Drag a battery in here. Okay. Kentucky radio. Hmm. Thank you very much, Boothroyd. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hang on. So is that... Are they hitting the side of my building? Oh. No, I think they're hitting that building, aren't they? Yeah, they're not, they're not hitting this one. Okay. They're creeping a bit close though, aren't they? So, um... Oh, I think now they are. Yeah, now they are. Okay. So does he stop hitting it? Or does he keep going until he's in? Let's wait and find out, eh? Okay, so presumably, let's have a look. So, d does that mean does the the smash glass mean he's in, or he just no no? He, so he just smashed it. That's it. Okay, no, that one got in though. Okay. So I'm just trying to learn their behaviour. Okay. So that means I have to leave. Oh, it's turned night time now. Oh, hello. Wait, she was in the house the whole time. Okay. What's that say? Fairly heavy load. I'm carrying a bit too much. Thank you, Hieronis. Thank you very much, Hieronis. So one second. I'm just going to crouch here. And I'm just going to dunk some stuff in the bag because all I've got is a hammer. And I could probably squeeze a few bits in there. No? School bag? <laughs> How does one do it? Wait. Damn. To the icon? Drag it to the icon. Sure, hang on. Just get away from that nibbly bastard over there. Oh, it's getting quite dark all of a sudden. I best go to ground. second. Uh, oh, a watch. Hooray. I found one. Okay. Red spotted underpants. Wait a minute. 
No. This is Ed. Okay. So how long does the day-night cycle last? Close the door and sleep. Is there a bed? There is a bed. Could do. Just checking that... Uh, what's that there? Oh, hello. Damn it. So, so is she going to just bust her way in? Damn. what she does uh, not right now thank you Ginny all good all right. thank you Nostru thank you oh speaking to mag all right so put water bottle I see there we go put that in the thing It takes her quite a while to get through that. So what happens if I do sleep then? Let's have a look. Okay. Does this help? Is like a message going out to the rest of the server saying, please sleep like it's Minecraft? Okay, so the time is not advancing because it's multiplayer. And she's still going at the door. Hmm. Okay. Second, can I see? Uh, hang on. <laughs> Untie hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see. You can. I oh wow! You can actually do exercise. Temperature. Okay. How long does it, does it take before she's in? Thank you, King of Kate. Thank you very much, King. Thank you, Stanky Bean. Thank you very much, Stanky. Oh, hello. There's quite a few of them. Maybe that was a mistake. Uh, so far, Jimmy, but we'll see. Let's see what it's doing. Okay. Why is there power? Yeah, presumably it's, it hasn't been that long since the start of the apocalypse. So power grids are still running. Mag says there's now a few people on the server. Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I going to get murdered? Probably. Oh, hang on. Oh, Messi's dead. Joseph is dead. Messi died? Messi's dead again. Hmm. 
Hmm. Who's Joseph? What's that there? Thirsty, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Dinkle beans on there as well. <laughs> uh, for those just joining the stream, Dinkle Bean was kind enough to send me uh, a giant carp pillow. Uh, clearly, it's his idea. Yeah, he thinks I'm only ever going to catch fish in the form of a stuffed one for the sofa. Oh dear. Right. Uh, where's Lulu? You can see her butt to the left side of it, like, over there. She's sitting atop the sofa cushion, squashing it all the way down there uh, because her front half is on the radiator, so she's nice and comfy. <laughs> So, hang on. So, looking at that, looking at that pillow, as crazy as that sounds, yes, that's on the extreme end of the scale, but that's really... That's how big carp get. I mean, that would be like a 20-year-old carp, but they do get that big. Although, truth be told, looking at it, it's more that they get fatter, as it, so... It's probably a bit too long. So, think, so shorten it a little bit in terms of length, but in terms of... Of girthiness, that's pretty. That's on point. If you don't believe me, just Google image twenty-year-old carp, and you'll see exactly what I mean. They're just so fucking big, so heavy. Yeah, I think lengthwise it's a bit too long, but girthwise. Hmm. What's this? Sorry. Uh, oh, Harry's here as well. So Dinkleby, Messi, and ZF Harry. Hmm. Messi says, I love how I spawned as a burglar, so I keep spawning in. <laughs> you hurry. Hang on. I am in a house, and the lady is trying to bash her way in. And I'm scared. Hang on. Harry's dead. <laughs> Messi's dead. Holy shit, everyone's dying. Whoops. How's the game so far? Oh, hello. One of them did get in. So can I do a stealth attack? Cool. Yeah, the game is interesting so far. Um, I'm Yeah, I'm keen to see where it goes, though. So it sounds like, just based on how people are describing it, it's going for a more classic open-world survival thing. As opposed to base buildy or pvp -y. But I'm curious to see what else they do that's new. Okay, maybe she just can't get in that type of door. Yeah, I, I'm a huge sucker for this, this style of um, genre, though, as you know. I love it. Uh, oh, there's lots of stuff here. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Oh, stupid, that's my infantry. Okay. Hammer. Eh, it's still proper dark. It's ne nearly daylight, anyway. I'll just wait. Does he have anything worth stealing? 
Uh, no. Should I just deal with her? Piss off. Wait, no, don't pick up a broom. Fuck. Okay. Trouble is, my weapon is probably close to shagged, isn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, condition quite low. Okay. She did drop a hat. Uh, underpants, floor, beret. Ooh, stylish. <laughs> okay. So a question, uh, so in, insofar as, uh, sorry for those that might know, the development team. So someone said that this has been going for quite some time then. So around about the height of the open world zombie survival thing back in 2013. So is it like a one man development studio? Okay. 2012. Yeah, 2012. So, again, 2012, 2013 is when it really started taking off, didn't it? And then between that and 2014, there were, like, so many open-world survival sandbox games. You, rem you remember it. Okay. Small, small team. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone know how small? Four or five, says uh, Nguyen. Hmm. Oh shit, they had a robbery that stole their stuff? Really? What, you mean laptops with, the, with like, source code on it? Uh, source code, uh, source code on it. Shit. Hmm. Dinkle says, I'm collecting all the women's underwear I can find. You do you. Wait. Oh, I'm thirsty again. Do I still have that empty bottle with me? Let's have a look. So drop the broom. I don't need that. Uh, maybe I should read the comic book. The broom is a weapon. A better weapon than the baseball bat? Does it show me? Condition. It's got a better condition. Damage low. Yeah, I think the bat may be better. Yeah, the bat is better. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. What was I doing? I was going to see if I have... Empty. There we go. Let me just take this for a second. Equip primary. And then go over... Nope. Go over to... Okay. Can I fill it up? Yeah. While I'm here. Drink. From what is presumably still fresh water. Thank you, Celestial Mint. Thank you very much, Celestial. Okay. So can I wash myself? Okay. Uh, Dinkle in, in the chat says, I found a lovely red lacy pear that would suit me. Uh, hmm. Trying to think of something. Uh... Well, we do need to repopulate the human race, after all. I'll think about it. Is 
So, ha hang on, if I do... Wait, does that mean it's foggy? What's going on here? Six in the morning. Oh, wow. Cool. That's atmospheric. Proper foggy. Yeah, is, is there background music? Because it feels like this type of thing would be crying out for some ambient music. Sometimes there is, yeah. Definitely, definitely get some, like, um, something creepy. Lots of, you know, like a haunting sort of atmosphere like this. It's not enabled for the multiplayer. Hmm. So hang on, slightly damp. How does one fix that then, slightly damp? Right, a towel. Okay. Uh, Tom says there's music on multiplayer. Okay. Also, hi there, Tom, I hope you're well. Yeah, I'm just faffing around. Uh, so, so far, everything's going smoothly, obviously. I haven't died once. Carpentry, what's this? Oh, oh I see. Oh, right, hang on. So, wait, this is the crafting? Carpentry. Ah. Furniture. Wooden stakes. Okay. Neat. Uh, that's the carpentry menu. There's an actual crafting menu to the side. Oh, okay. Right, so. That's what's in my hands. What's this then? Okay, inventory. Health, yeah. Ooh, okay, what's this? Hello. Alright, so closed umbrella. Required items umbrella. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Newspaper hat. Sturdy sticks. Survivalist. Bread knife to spear. Hunting knife to spear. Ah, okay, hang on. So spear, maybe. Is there like a... Just, just... Here's a spear. There we go. Crafted spear. Planks or tree branch. Okay. And then a wet... And like something to sharpen it. Like a stone knife or something. Okay, hold it. Okay, wee. This could be... Stone knife. Tree branch, one of... Okay. Tree branch. Look for a tree branch. Yeah. Fishing. No. General? Fishing, farming. Okay. Clean bandage. Hey, nice. Ah, so fishing. There's the whole tab. Make fishing rod, sturdy stick. Okay. So yeah, I need to like think about getting a weapon that isn't just wank. Bread knife, fork, hunting knife, kitchen knife. So look for, yeah, we should check all the kitchens. So to search more houses. It's daytime now and it's fog, which might actually help me. Loot all. Uh, ooh, another digital watch there. Get it. Oh, ooh, bread knife. Wait. Serrated bread knife? Hang on. So the bread knife damage is very low. I'm not going to hurt many people with that. Okay. So bread knife. Mm -hmm -hmm. So plank or tree branch. Damn, a bread knife is not listed under one of the things that I can use to craft the spear. Okay. Uh, stay nice and quiet. A bit peckish. 
eat something quietly. Uh, so that's containing water. One second. Let me just pop that in my bag. Same with these meds. Why am I carrying these? Uh, bread knife. Pop that there. Crisps and eggplants. Electrical wire. Whoops. And then put that back in my hand. Cool. And then put the bottle in the bag. Okay, there we go. And then have something to eat. Eat some salmon. About half of it. There we go. Oopsie. Does that mean open? No. Damn. Fuck it. Just smash the damn thing. If I do, I might cut myself though. Oh, hello. Oh, the front door was open. The hell? The hell was that? Is that a bug? Or wasn't somebody like... Where'd the lady go? Oh, there she is, behind the stairs. We're good. House keys. Ah. Okay. What does that mean? Does that mean I can lock this? Oh, I can. Sweet. Ah. Uh, sorry, no. I came in here to check the kitchen. So, check the fridge. Zucchini. Might as well eat it. Okay. Uh, can ooh, canned. Nice. Okay. What's that baking tray? So I still have a not great weapon. Farming for intermediates. Grab that. Uh, yeah, I think I have a can opener in my bag. Uh, what's in here then? Gun case. Ooh! That's a pistol. With 9mm rounds. Okay. Uh, magazine, gun case, container, skill book, the herbalist. Okay. Stand by. So let me just... One second. So, 9mm magazine. We take the M9 pistol, place that. So hang on. Equip primary. Right. And then... Uh, put in container, equip primary, insert magazine. And there we go. So green indicates... So it's on me, but it's not equipped. So can I place it there? No. Hmm. So how do I rapidly switch to it, is my point. I need a proper holster. Okay. Let me just try something. Hang on. No weapon available. No. Okay. So favorite. Remove. Gotcha. So that's my back slot. And these are two belt slots. So let me just test something. Um, 
So can that go on my back? No, it can't go on my belt. So the baseball bat can go on my back. Gotcha. So it's a, it's a completely separate slot. Okay. So does that mean I can take the bread knife and place it on my belt? It does. I see. Gotcha. With you. Okay. So I can potentially put other things that I might need to... So these aren't quick slots. They're separate slots on your inventory. Okay. So the hammer can presumably also go... Yeah. And does the hammer have any decent... It's green. There we go. So it's equipped. Oh, it's actually got some pretty decent damage on it, to be fair. Yeah. So in a pinch, I can just go take out the hammer and just smash him. So I don't really have anywhere to safely put the pistol. So put that on my back. I would have to slowly stop and then fucking do that in the event of someone turns up. Okay. Best be careful. Save this for players. Okay. A pen and pencil in your inventory. You can write on the map. Cool. I'm going to draw penises. No ammo in it? What does it show? Oh. Tom is in the server. He says SLUTS in capital letters. Of course, yes. Uh, do I need to open the box of 9mm rounds? There we go. So 39mm rounds. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Right. So it makes the same noise. It just goes clack, even when it's empty, uh, when it's full. Unless it's not full. Hang on. So one second. Sorry, just trying to figure this shit out before I get into trouble. So I see no magazine, so that implies that it's in, it's in the gun. No, I don't want to shoot it, because then it's, you know, ring the dinner bell. Hmm. Neat. Ooh, a pencil. Map. I see. So doing this, I can mark buildings that I've looted. What's that blue thing then? Need a blue pen. Need a pen. Do I not have a pen? I've got a pencil. I see. Okay. So if people kill me, can they take my map? Tom is inviting me to the sexy faction. I'll pass for the minute, Tom. Sorry. Bear with me. I, I'm, I still just want to... Uh, I, I, yeah. I've got weird reasons. If you can hear me, Tom. Okay. Basically, I need to feel my way through the game in my own time. Uh, otherwise, what happened with Ark will happen again, and I'll just be dragged through content that I have no, no idea what's going on, and no attachment to it. Okay. Sure, sure, but it, it's, you know, let, let, let me, let me fumble and make my own mistakes, Mag, otherwise I'll just be, yeah. It's, it's weird. It's hard to explain. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah, now that I've got the pencil and the map, so that's the house I checked. So what's this blue thing over here? Let's go check that out. blue thing is some sort of large brick building maybe it's a school uh it's k 
cafeteria. Maybe it is a school. Okay. Check the map again. Hmm. What's that thing over there? School bag. Ooh. Uh, capacity 15. What's on my back right now? School bag. Capacity 15. It's the same. So let me just equip the... I'm going to equip the bread knife. Can I get a stealth kill on him? Despite the low damage? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I could. I hear the Zeds moving. A belt, an accessory. Anything else on them that I really care about? Piece of jewellery. Not sure how that helps me. Oh, a zombie is investigating. My character cannot run? They can't? Heavy load. Oh yeah, that's quite heavy. What am I carrying that's so heavy? Uh, tins, maybe? Do, 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 do. What about that whole... B I was carrying a massive broom, wasn't I? Or did I drop it? Keep that on me. Uh, not sure why I'm carrying that. Keep the pencil, put the pineapple in there. Hmm. What's weighing me down so much? Oh, I hear lots of Zeds. Oh, shit. I'm not here. Oh, look. Look, look, look. She's got a... She's got, like, a proper axe in the back of her head. Quickly. What was that? Loot. Hand axe. Proper tool. House keys, security. Take that. Silver necklace. I'm not so sure why I'm taking the necklace if there's no trade site. Okay. Did it again. Whoops. So where was that? Sort by category. Uh, did I grab it? Where'd it go? Oh, that's my backpack. Hand axe, tool. Very good. Yeah, nice damage on that. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Thank you, Geeson. Thank you very much, Geeson. Thank you for doing that, Geeson. Fresh scrambled eggs. I'm quite thirsty. Okay, let's have a drink. Drink is in my bag. Chips, potato, pop. Drink some of this. Okay. Slightly damp. Still carrying this heavy load. Am I? Yeah. So what's the heavy thing? Shame you can't sort by weight. What was that? A helicopter. I can hear a helicopter. There are helicopters in the game? So th there is air, air mobility. Right. 
Run? Why run? What's run? It's over here. Is he picking up survivors? Is it a player? Oh, I can't see through here. Why? Oh no. Weird. Oh, I see it's a fence. Are the Zeds heading towards it? Oh, it sounds very close. Oh, Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Exertion, just need to slow down a bit. down. Where is it? Sounds this way now. Is it flying over us? Climb that? Oh, yeah. Damn it, it flew this way. I should have just stayed where I were. Where I was. Can barely jog. High exertion. Exertion? Exertion. What's behind me? Crap, so was that was that a player or was it rescue or clearly flew overhead. Is it marked on the map maybe? I lost it. Damn. Huh. Crap. Oh well. Okay. Well oh, Quite a few of them. Let's go this way. It's quite, a, quite a, oh dear, quite a few of them indeed. Need to watch out. Quite tired. Peckish. Let's find a house. Thank you, Leo. Thank you very much, Leo. Thank you. So, momentarily, folks, I do need to bog off and get on with work today. I've got quite a lot to do. So I'll probably just go to ground in a house and then call it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh my, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, I did say I was going to go into a house and then call it on life, apparently. Oh, I'm a zombie. Holy shit. Wow, hang on. So wait, do I become like a loot pile now in the form of a zombie? Wandering around. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. Right, so... Yeah, so that was a bit of Project Zomboid then. So just trying out on the... Uh, yeah, testing out the ZF server there. Well, bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I want to give it... Yeah, I want to give it more, more of a go later, I think. Yeah, interesting. Interesting indeed. I'm a sucker for this type of, type of game mode, that's for sure. Cool. Verdict so far? Too soon. Too soon. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, give, give me more time with it and we'll see. That's bullshit? No, no, that's fun. Yeah. Shit like that is exactly what makes it fun. As crazy as it sounds. The fact that it can all go horribly wrong at a moment's notice is cool. Right, so, um, I'm going to... Yes, so, hang on, let me just mute this. Right, um, so... Uh, yeah, so, I I'm currently working on Team Fortress bullshittery. Uh, it's about uh, 20 minutes past one, so I need to go and crack on between now and eight o'clock, continuing editing on it. I've got the whole video cut end-to-end -end and keyframed end-to-end. What's stopping it is there are seven source filmmaker animations that I want to do as cutaway jokes. I've finished six of them, so number seven is the only one that remains. Unfortunately, they get ever more mechanically complex as they progress. So, um, yeah, number seven is very, very difficult. And the next problem is the fact that number seven requires a source filmmaker map, which is not loading properly. What I need to do now is to... Yeah, I need to try and troubleshoot and figure out exactly why this map is having trouble uh, showing in source filmmaker. So, yeah, I'm hoping my headache will go away. Oh. Right, so I need to go and, um, yeah, try and figure out what's going wrong here and uh, try and get this seventh animation finished. And when they're all done, then I can start the the quality assurance on the entire video. So, yeah, it's the start of week five on the latest uh, bullshittery. So I'm going to go crack on with it. In the meantime, I'm pretty sure Tom is now streaming. Uh, what's it? Zomboid, isn't he? He's on presumably the exact same server. One moment. Uh... Okay, so Edberg is doing Escape from Tarkov. Sheep is doing The Last of Us. Tom is doing Project Zomboid, as is Harry. Uh, and Swat Knight is doing Skyrim. In which case, let me hand you over to ZF Tom. So he's on the exact same server, and you can see how he's doing. So thank you for watching, folks. All the best. Have a lovely afternoon. Hope to see you soon. And this is ZF Tom. Thank you, Zyper. Thank you very much, Zyper.